So, I don't even know if I can do this, but I'll give it my best shot. I had some uh, kind of theorem populate my mind this night with a deep insight into uh, a realism. And I'm going to share that with you right now. Basically, this uh, illustration of events is in order to demonstrate the IQ factors within the universe, well, the world, of humanity on a scale. We have 8 billion people in this world. The average IQ is 100. That means we have 4 billion people of an IQ of 100 or under. What does that look like in a graph, gentlemen? It appears to be thus. Where the average IQ runs along this medium. But of course we get extremities. We get examples of greatness in fields of rare valour that take us to extremism, such as this, the pinnacle of genius, or this, the nadir of moronism. But here, and here, we find the bulk of humanity. I come about here, but my mate, or my ex-mate, who's a complete knob, now, I'll be fair to him, Probably registers about there. Twice. Anyway, so uh, that's the initial scan, but there is another mode of looking at this. You see, this is my point of illustration for this nice uh, symposium. It could be like this. Where the IQ factor is moderate around 100 vector. But the pinnacle of genius. is so extremely brilliant compared to the wallowing decay of utter stupidity that it's these fuckers which allow for the well-being and the sustenance of everything including Snowball R2-D2 Droid and the Royal Diamond Thank you ladies and gentlemen it's been incredible. That is the diagram. Tattoo it on your chest so you will. If you like that sort of thing. I personally don't. I like a flesh beige epidermis. But that's just me. Because I'm not a tribal warrior. I'm more of a, a, a quasi-etymological study of linguistics in the English vernacular. And so we move on. And uh, we do this. We do that. And, uh, and then we apply a little bit of that. And this is that. I'm already on to something beautiful. It's so great. But you know, it's been ages since I was amazing. I was amazing many times when I was young. And then I hit a wall. I hit a wall so big no one could ever handle what I came up with. And that wall was so huge, I redefined the space-time continuum in my own luxurious gaze of divinely allocated wonder. And therein... Well, I was stupid, wasn't I? As a, as a quasi-mortal, I didn't realise the potentials or the long-term effects this would have upon me. Because as mortals, we all have great dreams and ideas in the moment, but extra you get your wishes met in this world, mate. Oh, yes, you do. Even the humblest pauper and orphan will one day get a wish or a dream met. But it's how do you deal with the consequences long-term of that dream? That's what no one, no child, no youngster, no adult can ever fully grasp. And that's why the dream cell is an onion in a bhaji and everyone's a silly sausage for not studying philosophy at a deeper level in their young age. Thank you very much. It's been epic. And I trust you've learned this tonight many wisdoms into the grand veneer of psychological wealth. <laughs>